What we wanted was a very energy efficient house, which you can achieve much more easily if you build from scratch. And we wanted a modern house. We didn't want it to be built like it was a house from 100 years ago. We wanted to say that this is the building of now. There are certain places where you can stand in this building and wherever you look, you're looking through into another space or through a courtyard or through another window and then out into the view outside. And those are always nice places to pause and have a look. Yeah. Yes, it makes so many pictures. Mm. We work at home and we want a studio space for both of us. The moment I got here, uh, I went in the studio and, and worked like mad. I'm, I produced more whilst all the building was going on than I've ever done in my life. Probably the biggest challenge of this project was how to fit a piece of architecture, a substantial piece of architecture, into such a beautiful landscape. It's difficult to picture what was on this site before, but in essence, it was a two-storey small cottage, typical of the forest, not very beautiful. Things don't have to be old to live in a very beautiful place. Beautiful houses are new as well. And so, of course, I think this is a very beautiful house. The driveway, which runs east-west and slices right through the site, was the key move to subdivide. To the north, we had the two studios, the work element of the house. The extended driveway that becomes a gallery street through the middle of the property is their gallery where they display their art. And then on the southern side is the living accommodation, taking in those views. It made sense just to quietly bring the top meadow over and have it as a planted roof. So it's not an architectural green roof, this is a field on top of a house. I've seen a buzzard close today, flying very yeah, close. It was, wasn't it? It's unaware of us. That's, I suppose it's like being in a hide. Mm, it yes. is actually. It's quite like that. <laughs> It's all to do with horizontality and then breaking it up with elements. And as you see from the distance views, it doesn't stand out and shout out. It doesn't look like a huge strip in the landscape. It's lower than the original building. I think it was uh, necessary to stay on one level, which suits me fine. I don't want any steps here at all. Uh, as you get, get around on the scooters. Well, I bought one for myself because I've always loved them and skated about. And Michael had a try and he loved it. Well, I think the house is going to get better over time as the plants grow up and over. So. One off housing for individual <laughs> clients is the hardest sector to work in. It's deeply, deeply personal. It is a very close both working relationship and, and one based on deep friendship that goes on beyond the completion of the building. This is beautiful in my eyes and in Jean's eyes and in his, but not necessarily in the neighbours. <coughs> Probably in 10 years time, people will think differently and then another 10, they'll start saying this is a classic building. It feels strong and everlasting. It feels if it'll last 100 years. <laughs> <laughs>